Today we're in Nehemiah chapter 8. And this is a very important chapter because it deals with the Word of God and the reading of the Word of God in a very public way to the people. The walls have been rebuilt, the people are gathered, and now they encounter, well, the Word of God. So Ezra reads to them, listen to what it says, all the people gathered together as one man in the open square that was in front of the water gate. And they told Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded Israel. So Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly of the men and women, everyone who could hear with understanding on the first day of the seventh month. And he read it there in the open square that was in front of that gate from morning until midday. So he's reading the scripture and they're just listening. They're hearing the word of God again. And it says, and the men and the women who could understand and the ears of the people were attentive to the book of the law. So the scripture is re-entering the people of Israel's life. For a long, long time, they haven't done this. And it has a powerful impact upon them. They see the authority of the word, the influence of the word. And it says, all the people answered amen and amen while lifting up their hands and they bowed their heads and worshiped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Now, just a couple of things. One, in Nehemiah chapter eight, we see the authority of the word, we see the influence of the word, and we see the reaction to the word, which is worship. They bow their heads, they lift their hands. God's word is impacting their hearts. And then there's one other thing that I wanna point out here in Nehemiah chapter eight, as you get to the very end. It says, day by day, from the first day until the last, he read from the book of the law of God, and they kept the feast seven days, and on the eighth day, they were a sacred assembly according to the prescribed manner. So here you have in Nehemiah chapter eight, several things it says about the word. It speaks of its authority, its influence, their reaction, which is worship, and finally, their obedience to it. They did all that the word told them to do as it was being read to them by Ezra. And I think it's an important principle for us to let the word be our authority, to allow it to over and over again influence our life, to cause us to recognize who God is and worship him, and then to find ourselves walking out the word of God in obedience. That's Nehemiah chapter eight, and I believe it's a call for you and I to recognize again the authority, the influence, the reaction to, and obedience to God's word.